Well, a whopping 23 viewers tuned in to <laughs> hear my message uh, about God's goodness in the light of senseless tragedies. Not a particularly jazzy, attention-grabbing uh, video, and no secret, uh, most of my viewers are XJWs, or an opponent of the Watchtower. Well, I'm going to make a little uninspired prophecy for this video. People tune in to see little old MSM 1876 kick crap at the Watchtower. And guess what? Crap will be kicked today. Oh, yes. So let's talk about Jehovah's Witnesses and their love for truth. Because they're in the truth, aren't they? Of course they are. I was a member of this forum on Facebook, Let's Talk About God and His High Priest Jesus, a forum that is uh, moderated by JWs, and Kelly Nelson, a wonderfully snotty, smug JW woman, um, posted these junk quotes, partial quotes, that she got from Witch Tower Literature. What is the origin of the Trinity Doctrine? And I, I smelled it right away, and I knew, and I knew where to go. So, you know, the New Encyclopedia Britannica says, Neither the word Trinity nor the explicit doctrine as such appears in the New Testament, nor did Jesus and his followers intend to contradict the Shema of the Old Testament. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. The doctrine developed gradually over several centuries and through many controversies. By the end of the 4th century, the doctrine of the Trinity took substantially the form it has maintained ever since. Well, gee, there you go. I mean, a trusted, unbiased encyclopedia basically says that, uh, that, that the original Christian faith was not Trinitarian. And, well, here's the new Catholic encyclopedia admitting formulation one God and three persons was not solidly established certainly not fully assimilated into Christian life as its, in its profession as faith prior to the end of the 4th century. But it is precisely the this formulation that has uh, had the first claim to the title of Trinitarian dogma. Among the Apostolic Fathers, they had been nothing even remotely approaching such a mentality or perspective. So, I, I, smelled, I smelled a rat right away. Now, for anyone who sees this kind of stuff from, from Jub Dubs and wants to, you know, call BS on it, here's all you gots to do. Paste the copy and paste the quote, put it into Google, and proceed it with Bible.ca and put the quote in, which is what I did. And what you get is, is their... Their their fabulous, uh, should you believe in the Trinity expose, and and you will find these quotes in their full context. Boom! Here we go. Here's the one I'm talking about, and here is the full quote. The stuff the witch tower leaves out. Neither the word Trinity nor the explicit doctrine as such appears in the New Testament, nor did Jesus and his followers intend to contradict the Shema of the Old Testament. Thus the, thus, the New Testament established the basis for the doctrine of the Trinity. So there you go. The, what, what the Witch Tower isn't telling you with their, with their satanically little mind quote is that, in fact... It, in, the, in the scholarly opinion of the Encyclopedia Britannica, the foundation for the Trinity doc, doctrine, that is, that the Father is God, the Son is God, the Holy Spirit is God, and each is not the other, is in the New Testament. Yes, the nuts and bolts, and that's actually a, a, an expression that a JW used, the ontological trinity, the nuts and bolts of how that is so, no, that, that's, not, that's not in the Bible. That developed later. So, I went and, and posted that and the full quote from the New Encyc Catholic Encyclopedia. And this, it was about, oh, a quarter to ten on Sunday. Now, notice, notice the gap, okay? 
Sunday at 8.58. And this Eric Asser person posted back at Sunday at 10.28. You see that? See that at the bottom? So there's this gap of time between Sunday at 8.58 and Sunday at 10.28. I posted the full quotes. And guess what? Jehovah's Witnesses, lovers of the truth, and I'm pretty sure this Kelly Nelson girl is a moderator. She deleted them. She deleted my quotes. And let's see. I, he, I, 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 I also posted that my quotes were deleted, and Erica Sayre said, I didn't delete your comments. I'm like, well, somebody did. They're gone. And I said, it ain't worth it. If something I write will ultimately be deleted, the heck with it. And Kelly Nelson said, bye-bye, don't let the door hit you in the butt on the way out. Okay, people, you want to go back to the, to the subject now? Um, and, and this is, oh, oh, this is the part that burned my rear end the most. Ugh. Back to the subject, since I've posted credible sources on how the Trinity was added and polluted true worship and how it has pagan origin, the truth is there. Whether one wants to accept the truth or not is of their own choice. However, they have no excuse for denying who Christ truly is and, and who his God truly is. <laughs> Delete the comments and then spike the football like no one can respond to it. Oh, that burns me. <laughs> and thus, because of such chicanery, because of such chicanery, and I and I added yelling, you censoring snake, you deleted my comments. And she actually said, and she also deleted it, maybe you m put the comments up and deleted them to make this whining cry that the comments were deleted. Give me a break. So yeah, there's Jehovah's Witnesses, there's lovers of the truth. Let me tell you just a fast story about a time I got pwned, okay? I was engaging with a Catholic about three years ago about uh, confession of sins. And I posted a, a quote that I got from a William Webster book, uh, I think Church of Rome at the Bar of History, from St. Cyprian, where I was from one of Cyprian's letters, where he said... Um, we appeared to say that when uh, when a person is confessing sins, you know, when when a person is removed from church fellowship and has to confess the sin to get back in and receives the, the pardon from the bishop, that it's not the bishop giving the pardon. Um, I forget the exact quote, and it would appear that Cyprian would be saying there, based on that, that he didn't believe that the the bishop is doing any pardoning and it's strictly just an announcement of the pardon from god well somebody freaking busted me and and showed that that was not cyprian's philosophy and that in the i believe a previous letter he uh specifically said that it, it is the bishop who forgives the sins along with god busted and guess what i never I retracted that quote, I learned my lesson, and I never, ever, ever would dare use Cyprian uh, in such an, you know, in, in such a way again, because I knew it was wrong. Do these JWs give a damn whether they're right or wrong? No. But keep telling yourselves, JWs, that people don't like you. Because you're God's special, holy people. Ha! <laughs>